Today on the video, we're gonna take this off and put this on. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, it's, it's rainy out. It's not very nice out today. Pardon me. <laughs> I figured, why not take off this brand new cover and put on a brand new cover? These are the covers I ordered wrong. I'm gonna make them work on these back covers because these are little smaller seats. So they're not 100%, but we're gonna make them 100%, hopefully. Now I know some people say, just put it over top of that cover. The problem when you do that is it's slippery than dicks. You can slide right off of it and just cock yourself right over. And we don't wanna do that, especially when you have people riding on the back that you don't know who they are and you don't wanna throw them off and give them a fling and this and that and the other friggin' thing, right? You gotta make sure you, you do her safe, if you know what I'm saying, maybe. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like this kind of video. Doing upholstery with dirty old Belsif. That's what I do. I do just about anything I do. We should have the front covers in this week for the front seats, which is underneath me here. And the dog is all wound up upstairs because mom just gave him a bath. Here he goes again. Stupid dog. Hey Google Broadcast, stop the dog from running around trying to do a damn video. So as you see, you just pull out all the staples. You know, it only takes like an hour or so to do. Not too bad. If anybody's looking for a cover for their golf cart that's watching this video, hit me up and below because I got a cover here. If you need a new cover for your back seat, your flip down seat, I got you some new vinyl here. Hit me up. Maybe I can send her out your way for a few bucks. I did borrow Sean stapler over here, but it's a little on the wild side. It's got a mind of its own. It's like semi-automatic or something. And you'll see here coming up shortly. I wanted to clean the back garage out today because it's a mess back there, but it's raining, like I said, and I can't put decent out in the rain, so that might have to be just hold off for now. I'll tell you what's going to be a pain is putting staples in this piece of plastic. It's hard. I think that's why Sean's stapler's all freaking semi-automatic because it's like, hey, dude, what's really going on? Oh, fake. I did do the backrest yesterday, so the backrest is done. I'll show you that after I'm done this one, you know, because that's what I do. Always have a garbage beside you when you're doing this because if you don't, you're guaranteed to get a stamp on the foot sooner or later. Glad you're all here, by the way. Thanks for watching the video today. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. As you see in the background there, make sure you subscribe. Nothing like a good subscribe. Oh, we're getting there, Jim. Carpal tunnels kicking in. Boys, girls, people starting to go numb. Hurry up and get these stables out. Oh, careful. I feel sorry for you people that work in factory lines where you do the same thing every day with your hands. You guys must just get cocked right over your poor hands. So if, you, if you're one of them people, my heart goes out to you. Friggin' right it does. Do you believe me? Probably not. Why would you? I bet you never thought you'd be watching me do upholstery today, did you? See, there's something always different on the Bilser show. Like, you never know what you're going to run into. Hopefully this turns out good. I want it to. So there we go. That should be... The cover should come right off now. And then we're just down to the foam. There you go. So there we go. So there's a free cover. That cover went this way. So this is a back. That's a back. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we start back here. Because that's where it starts. On the cart. So what I want to do is I want to get these corners done. And then we'll pull it all this way. Because like I said, look how much bigger it is in the seat. So we got to make sure we start from this end. And we got to try to... Get her so she's jammed right in, Jim. It's gonna be tough because like I said, this cover ain't designed for the seat. So let's get one staple in here and then we'll pull it this way and see if we can't get her stretched over the seat. There we go, there's one. So now that we got that done, we're gonna have to flip it over. And we're gonna have to give her the stretch because as you see here, the curve's not designed for the seat. So this thing's gonna have to really be stretched. Oh boy, we're in for a tree. Eat. Let me stretch this side too. So at least we can get her kind of squared up. And we'll get one in here. Sean, your stable's working good today. It wasn't working good yesterday. It's kind of cocking me over yesterday. So see what I mean by we got to pull a bunch of material off to the side. So I think we're going to start by giving this a yank and we'll slap a staple in the corner here. That one didn't go in too good. And we'll go to the other corner and we'll give her a yank. And we'll see how it looks now. All right, so we're getting somewhere. So as you see, as you go, you got to pull on it and stretch it. So we should be able to run a staple gun all the way along this edge here. So let's do that now. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't go. Hold on a minute. I might have to pull this one back out and give it another little stretch. So we'll come this way, we'll pull it hard as hell, and we'll hit it. Uh-oh, damage. Nothing like good damage. Okay, we gotta pull that staple out and fix it. So you might have to do this a few times when you're doing this. Pull it and yank it, because you're gonna end up moving the in a little bit as you're pulling, eh? Try to get on the seams if you got a seam cover like this. If you get on the seams, it's a little stronger. So let's flip it over and have a look, see how it's coming so far. So see, so far we're actually doing pretty good. It's stretching around the corners pretty nice. We Now we just gotta pull it all this way and we should be golden. So what I normally do for this is I'll get down on her and I'll just crank the hell right out of her. Captain, now you're gonna notice this cover doesn't quite go to the edge because it's too long. But that's okay because it's good. You'll see what I mean. Like the other one up there, this ends up up here. But it's not going to do this on this one, and that's fine. The only way to do that is to start from this end and go this way, but then this is going to be like this wide, and it won't line up. You'll see what I mean. I got it so this is going to be pretty close to where it comes down on the back of the seat. As you've seen, we pulled on this, but we're going to put a couple more staples in here because she's kind of giving us the old deck over here. So we'll put a couple right in the seams where I told you about. See, there's a little bit more strength there. And then we'll pull that one out and let it kind of relax a little bit. There we go. Just let it relax. I'll put another one in there, but you gotta let it relax. Careful! She's a double whammy. Do you hear that? That was like hardcore. So this is where we're gonna have to run into a problem. We gotta really start to stretch it in the corners. Like I'm talking. Pull as hard as you can pull to kind of stretch. Because you're gonna have to get that corner down. Ah, don't be afraid to yank on her. See, it's coming good. We're getting it. It's looking good, Jim. So now that we've done that, we'll uh, go across the bottom here. We'll give her a yank. Double whammy. Semi-automatic. Uh, here we go. Give this a yank. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, I unplugged. Captain. Pulling as hard as I can pull and the thing comes unplugged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So look at that, it's coming along very nicely. Looks good, the seams are in the same spot. You just wanna make sure you try to line it up the best you can. Now we're gonna work on the sides. There's gonna be a lot of yanking, but we'll be able to get her because we're good at it. <laughs> good at something anyway. Boom, pull it hard. Boom, hard, boom, boom. Remember when you get to the sides, you wanna put lots of staples because that's where most of your pulling is at. We'll trim this back too so we don't have a big bound up here because bound ups don't help when you put this back down. So let's get this corner started and then we're gonna probably have to go outside and get some staples. Cause I know damn well we're gonna get low on staples. Yep, we're out of staples. Frank, I'll be right back. Here we go, another load up. Firing orders ready to go. Captain, where were we? Corner, boom. Oh yeah, we wanna do the corner. Sorry about that. Boom, boom. Oh, we're getting into a lot of material here. It's gonna be tough. Oh, careful. Easy. Get back. What the hell? Where are you freaking going? So on the sides, we're getting into quite a bit of extra material, but we should be able to maybe get it out. We might have to uh, do a little something something here. Let's pull these back out. As you see in the corner, we got a little extra material here. We gotta try to get those knots out. So the way to do that is pull harder, kind of. Ooh, eh? Ooh. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have some some little stretch marks. I know what the factory cover, the cover I took off, even had some stretch marks on the side. So that's a pretty nasty corner we got there. We have to add some heat to her. Heat will shrink this vinyl a little bit. That's not too bad. There you go. So as you can see, we got her pretty good. There's a couple little little marks here where it's stretched, but we'll work them out with a little bit of rubbing and tugging. See. Just kind of rub it around, and then we'll add a little bit of heat. So there's that part. So that's looking pretty good. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Look at her. There we go. So let's just do this backside, and then uh, we can maybe throw around. But I'm going to get a razor blade and cut off some of this excess material right now. Or I got my scissors right here. That's another reason why I might be getting some creasing, because we got a lot of extra material here. So let's get rid of this extra material, and it'll relieve some pressure. Maybe. Right? Maybe. The only problem with doing this is the vinyl is going to want to 
separate now where the staples were or where the seams are. So what you want to do now to make sure that doesn't happen is make sure you really get the seams so it can't come apart because now there's no layover where they stitched it and that'll help hold her together. Staples are cheap. Use them. So we'll give this a little fold in the corner so it leaves a little flatter. See if we can't, oh we gotta get a staple out of there. There's a staple in here that's causing a jam. Let's get this staple out of here and we'll smooth her out a little bit more. So now we should be able to give her another decent little fold here. Kind of, sort of, like that. So it's a little flatter. Oh careful! Your gun's semi-automatic Sean, it's freaking decent. Sometimes it just pounds the staples into her, eh? Just pounding them. Happen? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Actually that will all flatten out, that's good enough there. So let's do these seams real quick before I forget. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, I might boom one right there and boom another one right there. Just boom, boom. Just so you know, if you're looking for some of these uh, seat covers, they are $168 Canadian through Cart Superstore or Cart Part Superstore in Canada there. That's where I get these from. I did order this one for a Yamaha. That's why it didn't quite fit properly, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna try something a little differently here. We're gonna go get the folds a little closer together maybe on this one, see if we can't get rid of that crease. It's all on how you stretch your tongue it is. Hey, it's working, Jim. It's working, right? It's working. There we go. So now we can trim off the excess again. So that's not much waste, a little bit. We'll give this a fold over again. We'll give it a couple bang bangs. Bam, bam. Do the same in this corner. Fold her over. Bam. And there we go. All done. So there's a seat cover on and ready for the golf cart. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Like I said, we just got some creases, but we can stretch them out. They'll wear out from the sun. Give them a little rub and tug, a little massage. And she's golden. So here we go. We got the seats. We got the cover. So now we're going to put it back on. As you can see, the back turned out really good. We got her on there good, we did. So I'm just gonna line this up and we'll get a couple started just to kind of hold her in place. Actually, we'll get them all started. Actually, I'm gonna be a lot happier now that this seat cover is actually gonna match the rest of the cart. Because it's always gonna, gonna be kind of stupid to have two different seats on there. Okay, you ready for this? There she is. Check that out. Friggin' right we did. Look how good that looks on that color. Friggin' right. So we did the top yesterday, did the bottom today, and she looks mint. Got this one coming in this week, so we'll have the exact same pattern as this on this seat, and then we'll be able to get this thing kind of wrapped up, put the other kick panel on, and then she'll be for sale. Don't forget to leave any comments down below if you're interested in this cart. If not, then I'll keep it for a while, no big deal. I'm not giving her away. I've got some pretty good money into her to make her fancy for someone. So remember, it's done right, Captain. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. I'm glad you're here. Welcome any new subscribers. Love y'all. Until next time. You know what to do for now.